Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And if not, I hope this news makes it a little bit better. But let's get to the point. This is a short video for those who don't keep up with the news. But if you play Path to Nowhere and love one of the main characters, Hella, well, I got great news for you. As of late November 18th, new information dropped on an upcoming Path to Nowhere event. The event being called Wonderland Adventures. Taking an obvious inspiration from the 1865 English novel Alice in Wonderland, our main girl Hella has been transformed into the Red Queen herself, pouring some amazing drip as you can see here. But this is not just any image, no. This is a splash art for a free Hella skin available to anyone who completes this event. I gotta say, I hope you're happy because I'm currently over the moon at the prospect of getting a skin for one of my most used characters. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the Twitter post. The event duration will be between November 24th to early December 5th. Roughly 11 days worth of event time stretching throughout Thanksgiving. In order to participate in the event, you will have to have completed the main storyline up to chapter 1, section 9, aka Re 1 9. Essentially, as long as you take 30 minutes and enjoy the first few sections of the story, you will automatically be allowed to participate in the Wonderland event. Low requirement allowing both veterans and new players to take advantage of the freebies being given out. The event rules consist of only two main rules. During the event, we must use our daily stamina to complete main story stages and rust stages to passively obtain event currency called Trick Candy. Also, there appears to be a chance to earn extra event tokens and hypercubes through time-limited tasks. I would assume these time limited tasks will be similar to the timer on our regular dailies, so I wouldn't worry too much about rushing to complete them. Now, once enough trick candies have been collected, you will be able to exchange them for the time limited 2 star attire, Hella Queen of Hearts. Mind you, this may be similar to Hecate's free skin that was given out previously. However, this skin will not be rigged for Live 2D, meaning this new Hella skin will remain static on your phone screen and not move by itself if you look through the attire section. The in-game battle model will change accordingly to the theme displayed in the skin splash art. Furthermore, if you attain the appropriate amount of trick candies, you will also be able to exchange them for the standard arrest warrants for the gacha and other resources designed to help you level your character and proceed through the game. Overall, I think the theme of the Queen of Hearts fits hella very well. I will be speedrunning this event just to unlock this skin for my account. Also, a word of caution for those listening, if you really like this skin, I recommend not to wait until the last minute to complete the event. If you accidentally do not get enough trick candies or even forget to farm entirely, I am not sure if there will be a rerun of this event. This game is too new and there has been no information pertaining to rerunning events. There is a reason the skin has the words time limited attached to it after all. It is probably safe to assume that this game will adopt a similar skin system as seen in a very similar tower defense game, Arknights. In Arknights, for the majority of the time, if a skin is released in the shop and once the time expires to buy said skin, that skin is locked and can't be purchased again. Overall, what I'm saying is, remember to log in and spend your stamina each day until you complete the event. If you really like the skin there's no point in regretting not getting the skin all right that's all i have to say and i hope everyone has a great day adios